Well, there have been a lot of changes um, in the pharmaceutical industry in the last 20 years. It started out being pretty much based around small molecule therapeutics, but in the last 10 years, it really has changed to a new range of modalities. They're still looking at small molecules, but they're interested in all kinds of biological molecules, particularly antibodies and then antibody drug conjugates. That's where you're taking a small molecule warhead that has intrinsic potency, cytotoxicity, and oft often in, in cases where you're trying to target cancer cells and you're using the antibody to direct that therapeutic warhead to the cancer cells only and leaving healthy cells alone. These new modalities of therapy are much more complex than we'd looked at in the past. So in order to maintain efficacy and safety and fully characterize these, we need much more powerful analytical instrumentation. The nice thing about the current range of instruments that are available from Thermo Fisher is we really have the technology in our range of instrumentation that covers from small molecules all the way through to intact antibodies. The fundamental technology that is behind all of these is the Orbitrap technology. And that technology provides us very high resolution, high mass accuracy, and a lot of fidelity in the quality of data that we can obtain because of that. These are complex data sets from complex samples. And in order to reduce that to data that can be easily handled, understood, and viewed by the end user, the scientists, we need to have powerful software that can extract the underlying information that is present in these data sets and present them in ways that are useful, powerful and understandable. So our current range of software allows us to do things that previously hadn't been available in the biopharmaceutical space. So for instance our newly introduced PepFinder software allows us to compare triptych peptides that are formed from a protein which are the expected peptide and then that peptide that has been modified either through a post-translational modification or through degradation that has occurred in, in storage. And the software understands that these peptides are related and can tell you how much degradation has occurred and which kind. Part of our Xactive series of instrumentation, a new addition to that family is the Xactive Plus EMR. Now this is an Xactive Plus instrument that had been modified by us with an extended mass range. Now typically when people look at large molecules, antibodies for instance, they look at these by electrospray ionization and they are looking at those in a state which is most preferable for us to analyze them by mass spectrometry. So in the electrospray process we like to reduce the pH and this allows us to ionize them better and it puts a lot of charge on the molecule and that pulls the charge envelope to a lower mass to charge ratio. But this is an unnatural state for the protein to be in. So if we really want to probe very carefully the natural state of an antibody, we need to look at it in its so-called native state or a neutral pH. When we do that, we don't put as much charge on the molecule. The mass to charge ratio therefore shifts to a higher mass to charge value. And in order to do that, we need an extended mass range on the instrument. So this instrument has been designed to have very high transmission at higher mass to charge ratios and be able to obtain spectra up to M over Z 20,000. And then another addition to that is that when you look at a protein in its native state, you tend to get a lot of solvent clusters and other things that make the spectrum more complex. So what we've done here is we've introduced this, the protein mode on this instrument, and that allows a couple of different mechanisms of declustering, and this cleans up the spectra. We therefore now obtain very clean spectra of native an antibodies at the higher mass to charge ratios. You can learn more about these pharma and biopharma solutions at thermoscientific.com.